Hello everyone, this is Fahad Mirza and I welcome you to the channel. In this video, I present you 5-4 newses. If you are a regular viewer of my channel, you know that I have covered this 5-4 model a lot on the channel some time back when Microsoft released it. We covered it almost from every angle. And I was quite excited to see this fine-tuned version of 5.4 which is called as 5.4 Nuisis on Hugging Face and the model looks quite good. Just a couple of words on 5.4. So 5.4 is a state-of-the-art model from Microsoft. It's an open model with a blend of synthetic data set that has been filtered from public domain websites and also acquired academic books and Q&A data sets. The model is capable of very high quality responses despite of its size. The size is just 14 billion and it also comes in few other sizes and Phi is a very big family of models which you can check out on my channel or on Hugging Face. Pretty good I would say. Now coming back to this 5.4 Nuisys model. This is a 14 billion parameter model. Again it is a state of the art open reasoning model built on powerful 5.4 that's right we have another reasoning model on our hands and that is what we are going to install locally and test it out with the advent of deep seek especially and before that the open AI's model the reasoning is the order of the day everything is coming with reasoning these days so and which is not bad at all i think reasoning makes sense and that is what we are going to test in this video after getting it installed the cool thing is that the model is also available on Hugging Face as you can see here and I will drop the link to it in video description. One more thing which really struck me about this model is the name. As usual I am very very curious about the name. So the model's name contains Nurses in it. It's a Greek word which is uh, primarily alludes to philosophy and this word noesis refers to the act or process of perceiving, thinking or knowing. It also encompasses various aspects of cognition including perception, intuition and intellectual understanding more importantly. And it is about the way we grasp or comprehend reality and if you have ever read Stoic philosophy you might also in, have encountered similar concepts but anyway i am digressing so i'll go back to the ai so look let's try to get it installed and try it out before that let me give a huge shout out to mast compute who are sponsoring the vm and gpu for this video if you're looking to rent a gpu on very affordable prices i will drop the link to their website in video's description plus i'm also going to go give you a coupon code of 50 percent discount on a range of GPU so please do check them out and if you don't know what Olama is and what this website is about olama.com just search my channel I have done literally more than thousand videos on it and you should be able to find every video on Olama there so if you have a lower VRAM you can just go with the, this 8.9 GP or just click on this drop down view all and you see that there are different quants available and the creator has also said that he is going to upload more quads for this and LM studio so keep an eye on hugging face or here and you should be able to find one way or another so i'm just going to go with the this q8 prompt i think this fp16 is a full-blown one but i'm just going to go with q8 which should give us pretty good idea about it so let's grab this command let's go here where you can see that i am running my ubuntu system and this is my gpu card nvidia rtx 6000 with 48 GPU of VRAM and if I quickly show you that my whole llama is already running there you go I also need to do some cleanup but I will do it shortly so in order to download this model Nuisys one with 5.4 I'm just going to run whole llama and I'll do a poll instead of run because instead of running in CLI I'm going to put a GUI on top of it with open web UI so let's wait for it to get installed and then we uh, download and install and then we will check it out in open web ui and with that let me also introduce you to the sponsors of the video who are agentbot agentbot lets you effortlessly deploy a personalized knowledge bot across platforms like discord slack and others it is ideal for open source tech communities and startups that provide user support 
and I will drop the link to the website in videos description which you can also check out okay let's go back here and check what is happening almost there now it is going to verify the checksum and there you go the model is downloaded if I do Olama list you can see that our new model is there okay let me launch my open web UI and then we will play around with it in the browser and there you go so it is running in our open web UI and if you don't know what open web UI is just go to my channel and search with it I have done heaps of videos on it for beginners and experts alike so we already have selected the model on the top left as you can see here from this drop down and then we can start chatting with it now as I mentioned earlier this model was specifically designed for reasoning with a focus on reasoning behavior and it leverages the power of 5.4 with deep reasoning and an option of fast reasoning the default behavior is deep reasoning and if you want to activate fast reasoning you can start your prompt with a trigger word quick thing so let me first show you it without the trigger word so instead of putting quick think before it let me remove it and the prompt is that if an object is dropped from a certain height and takes 10 seconds to hit the ground how long would it take to hit the ground if it was dropped from twice that height so it is now doing deep thinking I'll just click here and you can see that it is going to take a lot of thinking here so I will let it run so that you can also check it out model is loaded let's check the vram consumption it is consuming around 17,000 of vram at the moment which is not bad for a q8 quant of a 14 billion model okay so you see it is doing a lot of thinking it is just slicing and dicing doing self-reflection and this is actually quite uh, awesome stuff that they have um, done this reasoning fine-tuned this model on this reasoning with a data set this is quite cool so you see it is going about all the equations and all that stuff and this is what I wanted to show you so it, it has come back with the answer that the time it takes to hit the ground this amazing stuff great stuff okay let's see how it does with the fast reasoning so I'm just going to put this here quick think trigger word and then the same prompt here let's check it out I'll just expand this thinking so it has done this thinking for a few seconds not for the whole lot and there you go your fast reasoning response how good is that and if you have been following my channel and have seen those videos about deep seek and few others fine tunes on deep seek around reasoning you see that all of those just do only deep reasoning they just go on and on and on that is where if you don't have time and you just wanted to think for a bit and then give the response quickly you can do the fast reasoning like this with a quick think keyword okay next up let's check out the row string so I'm again going to say quick think and for row string I'm giving it a scenario where if you quickly check it out I'm asking it that we need a chef and a waiter for two concurrent functions every Saturday night function one is at the French embassy function two is for Indian cultural association so the waiters need to sp speak the respective languages there are no constraints on barista but for chefs and waiters there are few constraints like some are available on some dates some are not and then some don't go along with each other so that is where uh, model need to create the roster for the next quarter so this is quite a real world scenario so you see it is thinking and then with the fast thinking it is but it fast thinking doesn't mean that it skips anything it just thinks less there you go so it thought about it took everything into consideration and there you go our roster is here and how good it has created the table and markdown real good stuff and then it is explaining it very very holistic so it is not only showing the reasoning but also the quality of 5.4 is oozing through so pretty happy with the model I would say okay next up let's try to confuse the model with a, with deep thinking so I am asking it what is the best way to discipline a pet rock with troublesome behavior 
let's see if it can do that it is thinking says <laughs> disciplining a petrock given its lack of sentience that is what i wanted to know pretty cool i would say and then it is just uh, giving us a light hearted approach reflect on expectation and all that stuff very nice enjoy the humor it brings so pretty cool i would say okay and then let's try out a coding question so i'm just asking it that write a python program that reads a text file containing a list of urls and check each url with some of the other uh, codes which i wanted to think so it is thinking again thought for a few seconds and then going about producing the result and the code looks pretty good very nice there's an explanation and then there is usage so look uh, not only the model is quite good in terms of reasoning but also um, the i would say the essence of five four has been maintained which is a good uh, always a good thing when you are doing fine tuning let me know what do you think about the model if you like the content please consider subscribing to the channel if you are already subscribed please share it among your network as it helps thank you for watching